Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita and today we're going to be teaming up with Frog Tape to show you how to paint two-tone walls. So this was our bedroom at the beginning of the makeover. Pretty horrendous. You want to start by clearing out the room entirely. And then if you're going to be repainting your ceiling, trim, or doors, you want to start with that first. We typically use a flat white ceiling paint and then a semi-gloss white paint on doors and trim. Now you can start working on the walls, but before you do any painting, you wanna be sure to decide on the height. I decided I wanted the two-tone wall color to transition right about eye level. The colors we chose were a white on the top and a dark meat green on the bottom. So you wanna start with that top color and work your way down. Be sure you're bringing that paint down below the line where you want the colors to transition. Now let's talk about that straight line you need to get. You'll see here that we tried using a laser level and I will be honest, it was super frustrating. We redid it about three times, retaped the whole thing just to find it was off by more than an inch. We finally gave up and just went old school and used a four foot level to go around the entire room and it worked perfectly. You just wanna be sure the bubble is exactly centered on that level. So for the tape, we decided to go with Frog Tape's Delicate Surface, that's the yellow one. We did this because it works really well on fresh paint and since we had just painted that white color the day before, we wanted to be sure we were being extra careful not to peel any of that fresh paint off. So once we got the line completely drawn around the outside of the room, we added that frog tape and we wanted to get it perfect on that pencil line. I don't know if you know this, but frog tape actually has a paint block technology and it's activated by the latex in the paint. So we found that the best way to get super crisp lines, even on textured walls, is to paint that underlying color on the bottom side of the tape. You'll see here that I'm using the white and going over it on the bottom side of the tape and then the green will go over that. Be sure to let that underlying paint dry thoroughly before moving on. Now you can start on that bottom color. You'll see that we started by cutting in, adding the dark color into the corners, around outlets, trim, and baseboard. Now it's just a matter of rolling on that darker color onto the bottom two thirds of the room. The color that we used was called Meteorological and it's made by Fair Paint. All right, now the next step is super important. You don't wanna skip this. You need to take off the tape as soon as possible. This helps prevent the tape from taking off any other paint on the wall. You wanna peel slowly and at a 45 degree angle if possible. Just look at those super crisp paint lines. I am so obsessed with how our master bedroom is turning out. With the new hardwood floors and these gorgeous two-tone walls, it's making for a great transformation. Am I right? The walls make such a big difference and create a unique and unexpected look in our bedroom, which I love. I'm so glad that we decided to incorporate a really dark and moody color, which I really haven't done in any of our rooms yet. It's bold and some say it may be risky, but I love it. I can't wait to finish off the room with decor, furniture, and bedding. Be sure to check back because we'll be sharing all about that. You can find more tutorials at makingmanzanita.com. And if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe.